Welcome to the Rhode Island International Film Festival here at PPAC. I'm Ned McNeilage and I'm the producer director of Show Folk. If somebody asked me, what is your religion? I know what it was. Music. Show Folk, it's a 23 minute documentary and it is uh, about seven Hollywood Golden Era veterans aged between 90 and 102, all who played different but important roles in sort of the history of Hollywood. And they all lived together in one home in the valley in California called the Motion Picture Television Fund. I never wanted to do what I was supposed to do. My nose was leading me into what I call trouble. And that's where I ran into Walt Disney. When I got in the show business, I found out all the tricks of the game. Uh, the project began when uh, I volunteered for a bingo game. I went out there and started playing bingo with these uh, oldies who were just fantastic and really inspiring and still so engaged. And instead of playing bingo, I took about 300 photographs. And then uh, that was really the beginning. And then I uh, just kept going out there and a friend and I discussed what a great film it would be. And uh, it was just a great project. I learned a lot and uh, it's turned out really well. I think I was just born with a positive nature. It never occurred to me that I couldn't do anything I wanted to do. My mother wanted me to be an accountant, not a musician. Connie Sawyer, who's the oldest working member of the Academy, she was a vaudeville actress, and Monica Lewis, who was a singer who sang to 150,000 troops in Korea and then became an actress, and we have uh, an old uh, distribution executive who was in the game 61 years and distributed the Ten Commandments, and Ruthie Thompson, who met Walt Disney when she was 12 and became a Disney legend, a whole bunch of incredible people. I was a kid out of college who studied mathematics and statistics, and here I'm selling the biggest movie that's ever been made. We really opened the door for all the girl comics that are stars today. People here that I'm friends with, it's my family. I'll fight for them. The, the interesting thing was that I went out there originally volunteering for them and then I realised over the course of the film that really they were volunteering for me. I was just learning so much and I was still so engaged and still acting, still tap dancing, still performing and, uh, and just... I don't think the spark ever really left them. I think they're, they're always engaged. They all know the business. And now that the film is actually out there and has a life, uh, they're very engaged. And Monica has, she's 92 and she has 9,000 Facebook uh, followers and is promoting the film far better than I ever could. <laughs>